and then hopefully we get Sorn into Blood Baron. If it's a matchup where Blood Baron seems like lights out, obviously we'll do that. If not, we just put Edgar into play. I don't really know what planes means. Well, we just find a land though. I mean, planes is a good sign if I have this in my hand. I still don't know what the hell's going on. Okay. I think I'm putting Blood Baron into play. I can't think of too many things. I guess it's Winota. I can't think of too many things they could play that I would be afraid of. That doesn't do anything. They could chariot me next turn, but if I get to four mana, then the, they can't even block the Blood Baron. Also, I just have Soren in play to kill this. So we'll play this attack and then use Soren to shoot this if they don't block. And we get to grow our Knight of the Oven Legion. Okay, well, this is. I couldn't really imagine a better draw. That's actually kind of just the perfect draw. So we're against Winota. I'm going to put it in Path. And I don't think I should be sideboarding anything else. I just want to leave in all my removal. I think I want all the Thought Seizes. And I'm not sure exactly what I want to take out. I want everything that kills Winota and Chariot. Um, Fatal Push isn't great at killing Winota, but it kills the Elf, so I definitely want it. And then I think Liliana's good. Knights kind of whatever. These are just like smoothers. And then I think Kalidus is something I want. I definitely always I'm gonna reward you not Soren in like any matchup, unless you think your opponent's looking like pithy needle you or something weird. So it could just be an Edgar and like a knight. Although Edgar Edgar's kinda nice. Like if they're just hitting me with chariot and they're not doing the Winota thing. This card's really good at blocking Chariot and then catching you back up. Maybe Gifted Aethermorn's not that good. Let's do this. Let's just take out one of each of these. I think I want the, the Legion Zealots. They give me redraws, help me find removal for Winota, and then they can just be sacked off to Sauron. Duress is pretty bad. Go blank seems pretty bad. So I'll just do this. See so how the paths turn out. I guess that's another reason to board out. Yeah, I think I like the way that I sideboarded. That's another reason to just board out cheap creatures. Sounds pretty nice. If they just have like Innkeeper Chariot, it's potentially going to be hard to win, but... I really want to be able to kill an elf. This does that. It's basically a blank. I guess they get a brutal cathar. Maybe that's not true. Plus, it's not a blank is what you just let it roll these out and it's fine. Ooh, that's almost really good. Um, I 
A fatal push. Because they could, like, not have land and not be able to chariot me. I don't think the Aetherborn does that much. Would love them to just, like, attack and me draw a land. That would be the best. Damn. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> third, third Edgar is not it. But they don't have a land yet. They draw land and play like chariot and have Winota. I'm just gonna die. Okay, it's fine. Still just from the land. We got 25, so. <laughs> sure. There's some red mana, but if they don't play another thing, I can just pick it off and then they can't win Oda. Unless this flips or whatever. Yep, thank you for the follow. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna shoot this and just play my guy. Seems like a pretty reasonable spot to be in. It is awkward that my hand's triple Edgar, but if I draw lands, it's no problem. Like I said, I can just legend rule one out, right? And then I'm going to end up getting tokens. This sucks. <laughs> this would be really good if it was a black source. It would be a huge blowout. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of awkward now. So, like, if I brick... If I somehow draw, like, another four mana card, I guess both of these can flip and then they can just double when other trigger. Okay, I get to cast a spell. Let me think. Is there any reason to wait? So, what? I take three. It's first strike, so yeah, I think I just get owned either way. Killing one out is nice, but... I think I'm just doing this. Now if they have another Brutal... I mean, yeah, this can't attack either way. I was going to say they have another Brutal Cathar. We can Fatal Push, but this thing's not going to attack me. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, let me think. So I can just... Sack the... Sack the Liliana... How bad is one Winota trigger? I play this. This attacks. If they hit brutal, if they hit another brutal Cathar and get rid of the Edgar, it's pretty annoying for me. But I guess then, nah, it's not that bad. Because I just eat the brutal Cathar, I get the Edgar back. So do I want a plus here to shrink this? I kind of want a plus target nothing. I kind of just want to play Edgar plus target nothing and pass. Now, maybe this doesn't make sense. I kind of forgot that Winona made the things indestructible. What could I do differently, though? Not much. The other play is just minus Liliana, Fatal Push, Attack. Another play I could have made was just not use Liliana's plus. 
And then that gives me the Fatal Push Revolt as an option. That might be just like overthinking it. Okay. So now I kind of want to start being aggressive. Um, that's seven. Okay, if I minus this Liliana, what can I hit? I think I'm just attacking with Gifted Aetherborn and passing. Do I attack with both? Attack for seven, they go to nine. I have Hive. So if they don't hit the Grave Titan... So I, if they just like Winota here, I potentially win unless they hit the Grave Titan, but let's just play it safe, I guess. Because then this means that Edgar gets to eat this. I can't double spell anyway, right? And if I double spell, it just gives them, what's it called? It gives them the trigger, right? Or transforms, yeah. I'll just say go. <laughs> they discarded a Winota, so obviously they have a Winota. Oh, sure. No attack. So I double spell this flip. I have another Edgar though, and I get to pick off the elf. So I think this isn't that big of a deal. Okay, they get the Kiki Jiki. <sighs> so, I probably need to top deck something relevant here. If okay, attacks, it's for 10. So, they have to block something. Okay, let me think now. Oh, they get the first striker back. God damn it. I forgot about that. <sighs> this is scary. Okay, so I can shock. I can shock Hive Mutavolt. Shrink the... Th yeah, the mutable doesn't do anything, right? So 3-3 three, three goes into Winota. And then that means I have 10 going at the face. So I lose the mutable, and then... 
probably can't block here, so that means this jumps. And then they can't even... Yeah, okay, so this works out, because I can't... They can't have Mutable block on Winota. Because they have the Liliana Plus, and then they lose their Winota. But I guess they could just have another Winota. Oh shit, I didn't think about this. God damn it. Oh, I fucked it up, right? Because now First Striker just eats. Because the only way... God damn it. Okay, I Alpha. This block's here. They double block here. And they still get the attack trigger from this. Yeah, I fucked this up. I forgot this is First Strike. I even mentioned it. Before I went to combat. Okay, so I shrink this. I take three. I attack. This has to chump. So this just doesn't block. This chumps the four, and then I take nine. I get one trigger here. Or I can leave the mutable back now. Just attack with these three. That's still this they still get double block here. Yeah, I fucked this up so bad. I think I just lose regardless. It's my bad. Maybe it wouldn't have mattered though. I play a spell this turn. I, I could minus Liliana and try to find whatever. I don't know if I have a better way to set this up, but they're just gonna like chump or whatever, survive, and then trigger their Winota. Kill my Liliana potentially. I guess they're at such a low life total that maybe things end up working out. The hive is kind of awkward for them. So they just have another Winota. What as I die? I think I can't die. Uh, they could hit the double strike thing. Oh, this is still shrunk. How am I killing him now? I think the game's over. I probably threw... <sighs> Yeah, there's just a lot going on with their cards. Like, this thing has so much fucking text on it. Enters, flips, leaves, first strike, ward. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Is that good for me? Does this not make two twos? Okay, no, it's enters. How can I deal one? I can just draw Soren. I think it's probably my only out. I could draw sword. No. Yeah. So I just have to draw sword. This is three blockers. What if they just miss? Like, what if this doesn't hit anything? Oh, they're actually dead, right? Yeah. So if this misses, I win. And it did, I guess. Because we have menace plus mutable. Okay. All right, well, not really proud of how I played that, but I'm, I'm super tired. There's a reason I'm, I'm only going to play one league tonight. <laughs> I say I'm tired every night. I'm always tired. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> GG's, though. We got one. I think that matchup, like, historically, I think that matchup was fine. But also, I haven't played it since they got the Grave Titan. And just, like, as a card, like, they can get to six mana and just play fucking a Grave Titan versus you. And that seems like a pretty big deal like it's just so it's 10 power and toughness spread over three bodies and i don't have that many ways to kill it so i think that matchup probably used to be really good and is now probably somewhat close if i had to guess because they have chariot they just have eight grave titans that they didn't really have before when i played the matchup
but you have good interaction. You have a bunch of like lifelink stuff. Got lucky though. I think they were definitely favored to hit like one of the one of the grave titans. I think it's called Huntmaster. They were definitely favored to hit one of the hunt masters, but them missing on a second human was really nice. There's no way I'm winning that game if they get to untap with Kiki Jiki and uh, and the hunt master in play. <laughs> What's up, James? Thank you, thank you. No, I was supposed to tell you I was streaming. Yeah. I almost didn't stream, but I gotta play. I gotta play some magic, you know. It's just so similar to Grave Titan that I don't my brain is like, yeah, it's human Grave Titan. It's a nasty card for sure. It's a card I've considered playing in decks that don't play Winota, so. It's probably a sign that it's pretty good. I would be uh, I would be that surprised if like there was a reality where Winota got banned and people still end up playing it just because the green castle exists. It's basically a five mana card if you have the green castle. Okay, probably Phoenix. This hand's... Okay, that's nice. This hand's not great, but their hand seems pretty bad versus what I'm doing. You need to take away that iteration, it's huge. Probably gonna get this dispersed. But whatever. Fuck. Okay, I mean, whatever. Hopefully draw Soren. <laughs> Alright. Didn't draw Soren, but our hand's kind of fine. I didn't realize this is... I thought they were just Phoenix. The old Days Undoing Treasure Cruise combo. <laughs> supposed to take Nars out, right? That hand's pretty good. Um, this push sucks. My Edgar's good. This can find second. Yeah, I think I still take Narsa. Uh, this yeah, this is the league, and we are one zero. So I don't think the second white ever matters. I guess it could matter if I want to use the Aganjo. I've Urborg, so I can play it for it. Not very confident about this game, though. Mm, that sucks.
Yeah, it's pretty doomed. What can I top deck? I don't even have that good of top decks. I kind of just want to draw another Edgar, I guess. This is one of the problems with the vampire deck, though, is like sometimes you just don't have Soren plus vampires and you just play the worst cards ever. You just play draft commons and then your opponent casts powerful cards and does whatever combo or treasure cruise time walk nonsense they want to do. Yeah, I don't know how much Soren's are on paper. They're, I think they're only like six tickets on Moto right now, but. They're probably a million dollars in paper. It's like commander and shit. Okay. Um, I guess we're hitting. It's like a minor thing. It might even just be bad because it tells them that I have the knight. Like if they, if they have a, a fourth flame bless bolt, they can kill it instead of using it on like this. But now I have fatal push mana, which maybe matters. I don't know why it would really. I kill the borrower. I guess I will. What will I don't. I have no idea what other creatures that could play. And there's a chance they want to use the stays I'm doing so. I don't get to push it if I don't do it right now, so well, I worked out, I guess. What's going on, philosopher? Okay, we get. They do the thing. Uh, it's not that bad, I guess. Maybe they don't do the thing. Okay, yeah. so I lose a card. They drew like three or something. Why didn't this minus? Okay. Um, I could double pump. What if I just send it? That seems terrible, right? I could double pump. It's seven, eight, nine, ten. They go to four. I get a counter on my knight. I think that's just bad. I don't think that ever really works out. Like if I had some way to just deal four damage right away, maybe. Okay, so their hand kind of sucks. I can just take the Bone Crusher and attack Narset down to one. And then I leave up Pump for my Knight. Alternatively, I let them impulse the knight. I kill the Narset. I don't think it really matters, though. They're probably going to play the new Narset, and... Oh, that's just a gross draw. Fuck. <laughs> you hate to see that. I mean, this is a good reason to... For vampires to fall down a peg, right? Like, any sort of thoughts he's deck after this card got printed just got so much worse. Like, it's hard enough to just beat a treasure cruise deck when you're casting Thoughtseize, but them having access to eight ancestral recalls is pretty rough. Yeah. Might be able to get him with this. I think we are going to get him with it. Hmm. So this goes face, these go Narsa. Because I want to use the castle eventually. We have another Narsa though. So does it actually matter that I'm attacking Narsa? 
I don't have a legendary. This is three, so I can't even activate the castle yet. Let's go all just go face. I was supposed to play my land first. Fuck, I messed this up. Now this just gets to die. You have to be okay with it, though. Man, that was so bad. God damn it. Is this going to flip? That would be weird. So is, is it everywhere in Pioneer now? Uh, yeah, I think Phoenix is probably the best deck. This isn't even a Phoenix deck, but... They're going to let me play my land? Don't they have an impulse? Am I tripping? That was weird. I don't know why they didn't cast the impulse. Drew Nev. Okay, well, fuck my entire life. <laughs> I, do they have Niv? Okay, they must have cast Consider, drew Niv, and then sandbagged the impulse because they knew they were drawing Niv. Sure, man. Fuck. 11. Yeah, this one's not going to be an easy one. But yeah, Iteration's just like a really busted magic card, so. The blue red decks are like entirely carried by it. So I can attack for seven, put a counter here. I don't really know what playing Cletus accomplishes, so I guess we're just doing this and praying to God that my opponent never does anything with their Niv and their Narset and whatever spells they draw off the top. Getting them to three would maybe be relevant because I could get to the point where I could Soren and bolt their face, but I don't think that's happening here. You got me. All right, that was nasty. Nib's kind of a beating because I have. All right, go blank's good because I like I have these dresses, but I have to leave in Infernal Grasp and Valor Stance for Niv. Fatal Push kills Thing in the Ice. Um, let's think. I could board a Necromentia, which kind of seems weird. I definitely want Dress. I think I want Trespassers. I'm almost positive this is good. Go blank seems. Good if Trespasser's good. Plus, they just have a six mana card in their deck. Um, I can't really fuck with the Days Undoing. I guess I could put in Deafening Silence. That seems not worth it to me, though. And then Necromentia. It's kind of sus. I don't think I want these. I think I just want to leave things that answer Niv. Like, Stance is kind of nice because it can save a creature. And then, so I want these seven cards, I think. Liliana's pretty small ball. Like, versus blue-white control, I think this might be relevant, but... They're kind of like a combo deck. It's not traditional combo. They're not, like, just immediately winning the game, but... Making it really hard for me to be able to win the game. Cletus sucks, but it's a vampire to hit. Like, everything else is fine. Aetherborn's also medium. I need minus four. <sighs> Let's do... Maybe I leave one Kalidus. One Kalidus, two push. Let's go with this. I think I like this setup. My Kalidus isn't great. It has at least has high toughness. There will be some spots where I get to trigger it with grasp or push. I think this is what I want. I'm not sure about the Necromancia. I, I've i never played this matchup in my life. I've never played against Days Undoing. I know it's like actually a pretty popular deck now, but back when I played, no one ever played it.
Sounds good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a rough spot. Maybe not rough. I have to take the opt, right? Yeah, I think that's the only thing that makes sense. It's going to rough from them. So, I think it's just Mutavolt. It's possible I don't, like, if they just draw on Seiko, maybe I'm not supposed to hit with the Mutavolt. It's really, I think it's too bad. Like, if they drew play to land and play to iteration, obviously I would hit, the, hit with the Mutavolt, but I think it's just too bad for me. Maybe I'm a coward. They have so many shocks, though. Like, they showed, what, three Flame Blast Bolts and uh, two Fiery Impulses? I'm just going to play it safe. All right, well, they drew the land, and now we're pretty doomed, right? They're just going to go bounce your thing. Iterate, iterate. I can use this turn to play <sighs> Shambling Vents, I guess. Because if I play one of these, it just gets Brazen Borrowed. If they have Shock for this now, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to play a 4-drop. But yeah, it's incredibly awkward for me. Yep. I guess this line doesn't make sense, right? Like, I should just let them... Like, now they just keep it. I don't... Okay, I drew that. <laughs> I, I, what I just did doesn't make sense. It's just fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. So, I could, t I could just take the borrower. I'm taking the iteration. I'll just let him bounce my thing. I played this game. I don't, what I did was very stupid. I should have just taken the bar. My logic was just flawed. Okay, that's fine. I should have attacked with this, I guess. Yeah. I'm just playing left and right. They're not bouncing. What does that mean? I'm lost. <laughs> Whatever. What the fuck is going on? What do I not understand here? They want to anger plus... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I know it doesn't do anything because I have a million lit or they have a million cards. Just keep blind pressure. I don't really know what they can do. So they could like anger, draw land, kill Edgar. You get to attack him for uh what is it, seven? And then they go to one and I have Shambling Vent Mutable Kalidus versus whatever's left in their hand. But I don't think they could win from that spot. Okay, they have a bunch of anger of the gods. I don't think that changes much. It's worth noting. Like, maybe I can try to play around it a little bit more. But I think I like the way I sideboarded. So I'll just run it back. I 
I guess I'm keeping this hand. It's not excellent, but I think it has a bunch of cards I want. That's awkward. Maybe it's not awkward, because if I play this, the odds of get shocked are so high. And they, they use their man on opt, so it would have been relevant at least. Even if it did get shocked, it, it would mean they couldn't cast the opt yet. So if they play Narset, I get to Thoughtseize. At least. Um, what do I want to do here? Just attack and see what they do. I don't really know if this deck plays counter spells. It might not. So I can go blank Soren or Thoughtseize Knight or even Trespass. I don't know what their hand is. If I play Trespass or I just get owned by uh what's it called? Anger of the Gods. I could even just play my Soren and plus. Maybe that's best, even though it's a pretty awkward play. I could Thoughtseize Knight. I think that's pretty good. Okay, they got the juice. Um, sure, we'll take iteration. And then what? They're going to bolt. They're probably just going to double spell on this. If I play this, they're going to just anger. So I'll... Let it all happen. I can grasp the Bone Crusher. Just probably worth. Okay, so if I draw land, I can save the grasp. They're pretty far off Niv. And I have this go blank, so. Okay. I could play Soren and plus. I could go blank them. I think I'm just gonna trespass. I don't really care if they anger one of these. Play land, I'll just go blank them. Okay, I'm not just gonna go blank them anyway. So, I don't know that last card. Good one to get rid of. So they have some good top decks, but I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm putting the counter on the mutable. Okay, well that's a beating. <laughs> Whatever. That's actually kind of gross. 
Okay, the coastal hall. That's terrifying. Maybe it's not terrifying. I have so much pressure that I guess it, it, it would be terrifying if they weren't so low, but I can just maybe kill them. Doesn't do anything. Okay. I, I was thinking about the instance which they daze undoing, but then they have 1 1 versus. Yeah, I just have too much stuff, I think. So Impulse can't kill this. Um, Impulse can't kill this. And then Soren finishes them off. Nice. All right, good start. Not gonna say I've been impressed by the vampire part of the deck, but <laughs> Foxy's is a good card. All my lands are pretty good. Um, I think Edgar's been fine. Like we've had a lot of awkwardness with Edgar, but I think it's I think cards are fucking great. Uh, what do we got? Liliana was pretty good versus Winota. Um, Kalidus hasn't looked good yet, but I don't know if we get the matchups for it. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand. So the biggest cost of this Valor stance is I don't have enough white sources. It's pretty greedy, right? I have 11, I think. One, two. Yeah. This Valor stance should probably just be a grasp, and I should be disciplined, but I'm a psycho. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. On the draw. I have no idea if the Shambling vents are good either. It's just a bunch of experimental stuff. My hand's fine versus Thoughtseize. I might just lose the Dust Legions all it. Okay, sure. Sand making this is good because I can draw Thoughtseize and then get double pumps from taking four. Okay, not Bone Crusher is nice. Um, what am I supposed to discard though? I don't even hate discarding Godless Shrine, but I think I'm going to discard Valorous Stance. It's awkward. Eh, maybe it's not this, so. I can't play it this next turn, but it doesn't really matter. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to need some help to beat this one. Just drew another land. So. It's problematic. Um. So what can I do here? This is really awkward. I can attack him for one. 
Doesn't really accomplish anything. I'm shocking myself to attack them for one, and then I don't really have good blocks on the 2-2. Two -two. I could also shock myself and pass. I could, I guess I could shock myself and try to block with the mutable. This just seems like a terrible situation. I cannot imagine I'm able to win this game. Problem blocking or trying to block the mutavolt is that I can't like I can't top deck a four mana spell. Like maybe I'm in this spot. I'm supposed to just pretend I'm gonna draw the best card every turn because I can't really win unless that happens. And I don't have any threes that are good here. Soren is fine. I could double block. It's pretty psychotic though. I guess I'm supposed to just let him do the thing, which means I took two to deal one and I didn't play my shambling event sure okay we did not draw the best card fuck okay attack for one Start four. I try to block with Mutavolt and hope they just never play a spell because I can't beat a spell because spell equals Croxa and they have a Kiki Jiki now. Yeah, I mean, this was an annoying game. I, I don't know what I could have done differently, though. I don't think I had many options here. Could have fought over the the two two last turn. If they minus, it's pretty good for me. Yeah, there's no way they're minus in it. I don't have graveyard trespass for my deck. I draw Edgar. I draw Edgar. It's a pretty damn good card. I don't think it matters anymore but I'll attack Chandra can I just top deck Blood Baron sure right, maybe I can just draw Blood Baron discard Hive Am I getting Colgons commanded? Couldn't imagine doing much that isn't just Croxa. I know this card hive. I, what, I take three? And they attack me with a Kiki. I mean, I'm not optimistic, but this game somewhat feels winnable. I could... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we gotta dodge another Chandra. Holy shit. I just immediately drew the Edgar that I called and then immediately drew the Blood Bear that I called. That's insane. Okay. Please don't have Chandra. Oh, so brutal. That sucks, man. We got so lucky, but... They have the second Chandra. I think the exact plays three. <laughs> Draw another Blood Baron, I guess. Okay, so I go to three, and then I block the six, six. Oh, we have another option. I'm getting another Vampire. What can I draw? So if I block here, I mean, this is always better. It. I had 
I guess, what if I draw a way to kill Croxa? I have the Shamling Red, too. Okay, um... I'm just dead, right? Attack Chandra, sack the 1-1, one, one, shoot this. They need, yeah, they have the treasure here, so I don't think I have an out. It's a sweet game, though. <laughs> That's so sad that the second Chandra, imagine if they didn't. Uh, yeah, blow this up. So now I go to two when they attack me, but they have a creature land, so I just die. Or go to three, I guess. They have to, yeah, sure. You say they have to not see the line to activate my land. Okay. Chandra's rough for the main deck Blood Barons. That's for sure. But what are you gonna do? All right, trespassers, go blanks. Do I want to rest? I kind of do. Planeswalkers seem important. More important than everything else. Although. Boarding and discard and the thoughts he sides up isn't great. All right, let's try to think about this. So I have Edgar, Edgar owns. Kalidus is fine, dies to Chandra. Blood Baron is insane, except for exactly Chandra. I think Chandra is the only card in their deck that can kill it. So if I have Edgar and Blood Baron in play, they can't kill it unless they have like another mono red card. Stance should be good. I think I want all the removal. Maybe I don't want Fatal Push. Kills Croxa. I think Lilian is okay. <sighs> Aetherborn's not bad either. I kind of like all my cards. Maybe I'm just supposed to trim on creatures. Or I could just not do this. I kind of fuck with this. Just take out like a Kalidus, maybe. It's pretty naked versus Chandra. Do I want Kalidus over to Fatal Push? Potentially. Gives me more nut draws with Soren. I really just want to like cheese win with Soren. I think. Could I have a duress over a Fatal Push. I just thought having the Thoughtseize would be better. Like Thoughtseize, I, I think the sole reason Thoughtseize has merit is because of how good Chandra is versus my deck. It's kind of the only card I really care about. And I can't prevent it from being good unless I Thoughtseize it. So maybe I just want like two of these. Go Blank can like kind of deal with it. We'll try one Thoughtseize. It's weird, but. Because this isn't like, if we were playing a straight up red black mirror, maybe I wouldn't want any thoughtsies. But I think in this context, I guess it makes a little bit of sense. Alright, this hand's just stuff. We'll keep. Like a Sorn, please. Probably getting bone crusher. Get an extra point in this way. Uh, but I assume I'm still gonna get bone crusher. We'll see though. And just push, that's really good news. So why are you pushing this? Legion's end? It's a pretty gross two for one. I don't think it's very likely to be a two for one, but not that big of a deal. 
Land's not even bad because I have this. Edgar is awkward, but probably fine. So if they Chandra me, I get to eat the Chandra. I have second Kalidus. Whenever I draw the white source, Edgar should be really good. I'm going to hate my spot. Like I said, kind of annoying, but not that bad. Maybe, what could they have? They could have like Lava Coil. That would be disgusting. Sure. Light Source is good. Whatever. I think I want to just make sure that thing's dead. Like, obviously pressuring their life total is good. But I don't want to give them any cards from this position. Thoughts he's have had it. Sure. To fatal push this. Okay. They did stuff. I don't know if it really amounts to anything. So this is 11 and 2 is 13. So don't block. There's only five. I don't know what they could do here. Crocs is pretty bad. Maybe me a 2 2. Okay, well, Kalidus was good that game. It's not like some sort of hammer card in the matchup. Am I supposed to have the third one? Maybe. On the draw, it gets a lot worse. Like, they could. They could just have the board and then. They could have Chandra in play. They could just have the board and then Chandra afterwards. I, I was in a position, fortunately, that game where if they minus the Chandra to kill Kalidus, I just got to eat the Chandra right away, so it wasn't that bad. I'm on the draw, so I actually think Thoughtseize gets better because I'm just going to have another card. So if I get to simplify the game where I have an extra card, I think that actually advantages me. Um, so maybe I could take out like an Aetherborn. I think if there's any world where I want um, path, it's like a six mana sweeper. It can randomly combo with Kalidus. I don't think it's good though. Um, do I want the third Kalidus? They have Legion End in versus me. How good is Liliana actually? 
I think the problem with Liliana is that they can pressure it because of the 3 2. I guess it makes it 1 though. It just doesn't kill anything, right? I get the minus it to like pick up a Kalidus or whatever, but maybe just having an actual Kalidus is better. <laughs> I lost a I lost a match once to in a vampire mirror because my opponent boarded in Legion End, and I had three Dusk Legion Zealots in my hand, and I had one in play, and they Legions ended it. And I can't imagine ever wanting to board in Legion's End in the vampire mirror, but they got me good. I was very tilted. So now I'm asking myself, do I want to put in this Kalidus? I guess just no. I could take out like an Aetherborn. Aetherborn's not that bad though. Like it trades for Crocs, it doesn't get Bone Crushered. It gains life, which is kind of relevant. Whatever. Just having an expensive card seems good in the Mid-Range Mirror. I'll just put in the other Kalidus. Okay, do I want to keep this one lander on the draw? Kind of, honestly. I have 25 lands, I have a Thoughtseize, and I have a Dusk Legion Zealot. I don't want to mulligan. <sighs> um, let me think. So, do I want to just hit all my land drops? Kind of. I'm gonna try this. I think that I'm wrong, but I think that it's close. Okay, so their hand's really good. <sighs> um, sort of wanna take Soren. So, it's highest value, I think, if I just do nothing and they play the Kalidus. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so now I have five cards. I think we just played two spells, right? Why did they not attack me? So I have Kalidus and then three spells. Um, I really want to use this to kill their Kalidus. I'm kind of fine with just playing my Kalidus and having it die. Because if I play my Kalidus, it doesn't die and they play theirs. I probably just went on the spot. I need this to kill their Kalidus. I could go blank them. I think I'm just going to play my Kalidus. Not sure. I don't know why they didn't attack. I think they just misclicked. 
So now Chandra's a colossal. I just lose the game. That's so tilting, man. Fuck. I just had to draw land. I guess that's a reason to not make my play. Why is this not attacking? Okay, now this is, okay, this not attacking makes sense. I'm just tilted. Um, fuck. Okay, so they have Kalidus. So I can just kill the Chandra. They have Denno. Man. What a tilt. <sighs> fuck. I should have thought about land Chandra. I was just thinking about like a spot removal spell that just trades here. I'm fine with that. This specific instance is so fucking bad for me, man. This deck is terrible versus Chandra. It's absolutely abysmal. <sighs> I can't do anything. I just have to hive, hit. They play Kalidus. I stance. I go blank. I mean, clowned though. I'm getting fucking obliterated by this thing. I guess I can't even go blank. It's fine though. They have a bunch of cards in hand. They'll, they'll have four when they're on top. A mana advantage, I guess. <sighs> it's another genre. It's cool. It is. How annoying is that? <sighs> Damn. I mean, I, I don't know what to say, dude. <sighs> it's just such a brutal fucking game. I I think I just punted, right? Like, what if I don't play the Kalidus? What if I think about them top decking land, Chandra? It, it's possible that it's just the correct play. Because, like, if they brick on the land, I immediately win the game, right? Or maybe I don't win the game, but, like, it puts me in such a good position if I get to untap. Like, even if they're trading for the Kalidus. Like, I have the board. I get to resolve the go blank for basically free. The Chandra just destroyed me because it time walked me and it killed my Kalidus. So I just fell so far behind. Um, I guess I'm going to go blank them. They get to keep their best card, so it doesn't actually do anything. If I play Edgar, I get a 4-4. Four, four. It's literally just like a 4-4 a four, four that's buffing my 1-1, my one, one, which is almost relevant. Like, if their hand is just nothing. The problem is just, the go blank just doesn't accomplish anything. Because one removal spell means I lose the game. So, I could... I don't know. I, th I think I just can't win this game. So, I'm wasting time. I'll go blank you, play the trespasser, and just... Fuck off. They discarded a removal spell, which means their last card's probably Chandra or something. So I supposed to castle? What happens if I castle? I just time walk myself and take three? 
And then I have to draw, like, Infernal Grasp. And then I can... Nah, I don't think that does anything to Den 2. I like Total Just Solo. Yeah, Chandra's just a beating. I do like my mana, though. My mana's a lot cleaner than a, a red-black mana base. Den is good and all, but... It's just nothing. Well, then what in the fuck did you keep? Like, how do you not keep Blood Juice Thirst? With Kalidus in play. This person is psychotic? Bone Crusher in my face? What is this person possibly doing? I guess they're just playing really poorly. Well, if I can kill this, I can just win the game. And they've given me a bunch of time. Uh, I should actually... Okay, that's fine. I probably should have upkeeped this, right? So I, I just I need this to die, and then I need to keep eating creatures out of the graveyard. I'm always gonna die to a removal spell. I guess I'm using the castle. I can't even draw a removal spell though, right? It's just not doable because my removal spells deal two, two to me. Yeah, so I punted really bad. Yeah, I just bricked all my removal spells by. Castling myself. Um, See, so yeah, I fucked up really bad. I kind of forgot that my removal spells kill me. So I actually could have just won this game, right? Like, imagine I don't castle. I brick. They brick. I draw this. I kill this. I just unlock the board. Yeah, I, I fucked this game up. It's fine. I mean, it was still going to be a hard game to win. Like, I have the hindsight of drawing this immediately. I I said it before I drew it, so I guess it doesn't matter that I drew it. But I, I threw this game. It's very unfortunate. So now... This has to attack. And then... <sighs> Kalidus eats it. Yeah, I threw. I actually could have just won this game. I mean, it's all good. I'm, I'm happy that I saw it. Like, obviously, I saw it too late, but... I fucked up with the castle. So, if I don't attack, this attacks for one, and I die. This has to attack. If I attack with just this, this eats this for free. And then they get a 2-2. Two -two. If I attack with both... This eats this, this trades. I guess I'm supposed to attack with Edgar as well. And what are the blocks here? If I attack with these two, it's too bad because then I just eat these two. So I think these are my attacks.
Damn. I actually should have won this game, which is crazy considering how that game played out. Let me think about it. Okay, so I cast this. They have this stupid card. I was at four. I play this, I go to two. I attack with these, I exile this. So I go to three, so I don't even have to worry about the Bone Crusher, and I just needed to leave it. Yeah, I was supposed to win that game. My bad. GG. That was a tough one. It's like a super minor thing. Um, I could just not play this card. Could play Power Word Kill and Heartless Act. I think the stance is bad as well. Uh, what do we play? We put against Winota, blue red. So this was really bad versus blue red, and versus black red, it's just terrible versus Chandra. But my whole deck is bad versus Chandra, so maybe it's not that big of a deal that it's bad versus Chandra because like the likelihood that Chandra gets used on something else is so high. I would say I like this versus red black, even though it's really bad versus Chandra. That matchup seems close, though. I could see them being favored. It, I think it entirely... It, it's just Chandra. Like, that's, like, the entirety of the matchup. Like, if they draw two Chandras, it's going to be really hard to win. But maybe that's that's not true, right? Because I didn't cast Soren on turn three. Like, it probably doesn't matter that much that they draw multiple Chandras if I just play Soren on three. Okay, this is sack. Hand's not great, but maybe we just top deck a vampire next turn. Probably anvil. Not for, okay, it's not sack. This is. I don't even know what the fuck this is, honestly. Well, this gives me a good play with my Soren. That I didn't think I was really going to get. And this is one of this like spots like this for another reason. Like I champion of uh Champion of Dusk is fine. Like I don't think it's insane to play the card, but Soren like Soren is strong independent of the draws with champion. Like it's not the draws with champion a lot of times it's broken. Like no no deck can beat it, but like it still just has a bunch of text aside from like put in big vampire that's relevant. Uh, it, that doesn't even do anything, right? It's four. Okay. I thought this was going to die. This doesn't even make sense, right? I just missed out on a point. Start with this, I guess. So I can thought seize. Thought seize play knight shoot this. The deck is really weird. I don't really get what's going on. This Gigant is going to be really good. It's just going to get a free removal spell.
That's nice. So they drew Hive. Hive's kind of annoying. So they top deck land. I probably still just like have to grasp this mutavolt pump. And just let the hive kill the Soren. Need to be pressuring them in some way, I think. Just hope to top deck Edgar. God, Edgar is so awesome in all these matchups. This spot's fine. Like, I've got two lands to get to attack them for five. I have a Valor stance for their 5-5. Five five. Which is decent. Blood tokens. Mm, that sucks because that means a fiery temper. Okay, well, that worked out. They didn't draw a spell. Or at least they didn't want to use whatever spell they drew to get the 1-1. One -one. My opponent is next sweet. I don't really get what's going on. Like, I don't... Why are they playing Epic Cure with these cards? That's the part that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know why these blood tokens are relevant other than because you think Epic Cure is worth playing in a mid-range deck, which I doubt is true. So I can trade Mutavolt for this. I can just play Knight. How bad is trading the Mutavolt? I think I just played Knight and say go. If I trade the Mutavolt, then they don't have to leave up mana to activate this. Like, as long as I don't trade the Mutavolt, this keeps threatening, and then they have to leave up. They, they basically lose five mana every time they want to block this. So I think trading it just does them a favor. That would be good, but we've got this Valor stance. Oh, Deadly Dispute? Sure. I, I just don't really get their deck. Like, they should just have, I don't know, they should just have Mayhem Devil, right? Why the fuck are they playing Young Pyromancer and Dreadhorde Arcanist? So, Shaman Mets is really good this game. So, they needed to draw a spot removal spell for this. Uh, it just kills him anyway. Mm, no. Well, it's probably going to result in them dying. Um, do I want to split this up? So, activating this is a three pump. This is five. I can crox at me, maybe? It's kind of unlikely, though.
I guess I could have just soar and pumped the thing. Okay, they didn't draw a removal spell anyway, so I don't think they really have outs. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the harvest like you can just play this card. It's not that bad. Like it has stats, value, and a relevant ability. But Epicure, I don't think it's really there. I'm not saying like I'm not saying their cards are terrible. I'm not saying it's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It just doesn't it seems like there's much better ways to build the red black deck. If you just like those cards, sure, but like playing Fable with Pyromancer. I guess the the point of Pyromancer is Deadly Dispute and Villagerites. I don't know. I kind of get what's going on, but the the blood cards don't make any sense to me. Like just play I don't know, just don't play Epicure, I guess. That's the one thing I think that's bad. Alright, this card's always the nuts. I should just main deck this card. Doesn't matter that I'm a vampire deck. If Fable, I think I'm going to try the Paths. Because they sort of just look like a Luris deck with Fable. I'll uh, do Go Blank. <laughs> so, unless they have like Mizium Mortars, they could, they could easily have Chandra. I don't know, like, based off all the spells they play, I don't know the likelihood that they can fit Chandra in their deck, but Chandra's just so good. It's probably in their 75. I'm still going to have Blood Baron. Um, this card's insane. They have a 1-mana one 1-1 one one and a 2-mana two 2-1, two so leaving that in. Stance should be decent. I guess I want all the removal and the pushes. I could take out Aetherborn just because it's a vanilla. Um, Kalita should be good. Edgar should be good. Let's do this. Maybe I would rather just have the Aetherborns than the Knights. That seems fun. I think I'm going to be the control deck in this matchup, so. Fine with not having a one drop on turn one. Keep this. Edgar's your champion of the dusk in this deck. Like, this is what you want. I think just putting putting Edgar into play is better than putting Champion in the desk if you don't have multiple vampires anyway, so. Epicure. Yep. Don't get me wrong. Like, I think this card is fine. I think it's it's not exciting, but, like, it, it does a bunch of stuff that's relevant for decks. I just don't really get its role in my opponent's deck. I think we're chilling if we just draw land. Yep. Got twenty five land, so Shit exchange. I'll take it. A bit awkward, but no complaints here. My opponent's hand. And why play that land? If they play a four drop here, I guess it makes sense. That's really weird. You could just play out Edgar. I can't imagine they can beat this card. I don't think they can beat any of the cards on my hand, honestly. I'm going to add 
of the Gigante. Either. This person might just be like Tilton. Sure. What am I supposed to discard? I'm, my cards are just so good. I can get rid of the removal spell. I think I'm going to play Trespasser next turn. I don't really need the second Trespasser. Thank you for the follow. What's up, Stormbreath Dragon? So, Soren. I mean, Soren just gives me life. Like, I'll get rid of the Karoxa. It's the only thing maybe concerning me. An old attack. I think I'm happy with how I played the game. Like, it would it would have been fine to just play the Soren, put the Edgar in, probably result in me winning. Yeah, this doesn't even resolve. But I just didn't want the Soren to go away. Like. I think I'm happy with this position where I poten potentially can get lifelink at some point. But yeah, I just couldn't imagine. It, it, I think the only way I'm ever going to lose that game based off of what they did in the early turns was if I did draw a third land. And even then, like, they were just hitting me with a 1-1. They never added the Gigant, though. Just, like, we're doing a bunch of stuff. That was not correct. All right, let's see if we can get a 4-1. Lost a, I don't know if I want to say close. The third game was kind of close in the red-black matchup, but I think that matchup is close. I think they're favored. Chandra just seems like a whole, whole ass beating, but Edgar's decent versus Chandra. Everything else is bad. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Moto. All right, we've got cards. How does Vamps hold up versus Venota? Well, we played it, and we 2 owed it. So, clearly, it's a great matchup. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, I, I don't actually know. I, I was saying that I think that it's probably not that good. Like, way back in the day, I think it was a good matchup for you. But now that they have Chariot as a super grindy card, and they can just, like, cast Grave Titan as a grindy thing, I could see it just not not even being that good i think before it was pretty good because you were so good at just like removing the early creatures and then having a bunch of lifelink stuff but i wouldn't be surprised if they were favored but the only result we have i think we two owed i don't i don't even know how to look yeah i think it was the first opponent All right, later, James. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to assume that this is good enough for me to be victorious. I feel like it shot me, but even then. This attack's bad, right? I can't imagine that I'm able to lose even if the sword dies. Maybe it's not bad. I don't know. I guess they could unsummon this. I don't fucking know. Whatever. <laughs> We're at the end of the night. Fast and loose, baby. Yep, you're crashing. I don't think there's a way they can, like, wombo me unless they have uh, become immense in their deck. I'm fucking blocking. You think I'm not blocking? Are you kidding me? Think I don't want these one one life lakers? Gotta have a braid in their deck? 
Fire Impulse would have been pretty gross there, I guess. I, I think it's really unlikely they put Fire Impulse in a Swisper deck, but if they had Impulse here and then this dies, this the Impulse gets resolved and this has three toughness, that would have been good, but yeah, I just don't see it. They do have Battle Rage, though. That's funny. Okay. Watch out for that one. That hand's really bad. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know, know if it's going to be good enough, but... It's got me sweating a little bit. <laughs> Probably need to kill the Aetherborn to really get anything done. And I don't even know if I'm going to block. I guess I will. Does that have the Edgar going? Like, if we play a long game, I'd probably win. But they could treasure cruise me, so maybe that's not the case. They just... Okay, they have Soul Skirmish. I did play this game pretty loosely. So maybe I can lose. Verborg. I think next turn I get a hasty Edgar. Yeah, this card's fucked. Don't play Iteration, don't play Treasure Cruise. Sure. Resolves. I think that's two in First Strike. Okay. Probably doesn't do it. Why not? Okay, well this is the kind of thing I, I sort of wanted to play against. So what do we play against? We play against... Red, black, Winota. We're playing against blue, red. What were the other matchups? Feels like we played against a bunch of red decks, which is kind of what I wanted. So, maybe Vampires is a good call right now. We're playing against... Oh, yeah, we played against that really weird red, black deck, which we just crushed. But that deck didn't have Chandra in it, so... Alright, we're against blue, red... Battle Rage Prowess Pile. All right, this is amazing. I kind of think I want to rest. I don't really want Deafening Silence, I don't think. And Go Blank is... Yeah, Deafening Silence is a weird one. I could see a world where I just like mulligan and have this. And they have a bunch of 2-3s. I could, I could put in one so I just never draw both. So I either draw zero or one. But I think I just want interaction. I don't even know if I want go blank. Blood Baron's probably just gonna be worse than Kalidus if I want a life linker. <sighs> I guess this is not actually that good, right? Because their whole goal is to make small creatures bigger. This doesn't really block. It's good versus spot removal, but it fucks with uh, treasure crews. And it can gain me life. I guess it's good if I take the control roll and I have a bunch of removal. So let's take out all the knights. I kind of want to take out the Thoughtseize even. I think all of these other cards look good. Stance is a bit weird, but... It sort of combos with Trespasser. And if they make their things big enough, it can be good. Path is awesome. 
Maybe Liliana's bad. So I could have, I think the rest is better than Thoughtseize. I really don't want to like Thoughtseize a Monastery Swift Spear, but I do want to duress Expressive Iteration. So I need three more cards. I could just put back in three knights. I could try Go Blank. I think Go Blank's bad on the draw. Could do that. Let's do a thought season two nights. I'm not really sure. I don't think this card's that appealing. I have like six big vampires to put into play with Soren. And I think a lot of the time I'm just gonna be lightning helixing, so. Knight's not going to be that good because they have so many shocks, but it's just a cheap play. And if my goal is to use Sorn to Lightning Helix stuff, it's a vampire that I can play. I think I'm going to keep this hand. This hand seems great. I just need a black source. Yeah, the main like, but the main deck Blood Baron is super spicy. I don't know if it's good, but. I think I had two champion of, I said this earlier, but I think I had, uh, that was a good draw. I had two main deck champion of dusk and I had two blood barons in my sideboard. And I basically just wanted to cut the blood barons from the sideboard. I wanted to sideboard different cards. So I figured maybe I can just, uh, put the blood barons in the main deck and I think it's fine. Like, I think it's pretty reasonable right now. Like game, game one versus mono red, they have to two for one to kill it. And then, um, what's it called? Uh, Red Black has Chandra, but if they don't, if they don't have Chandra that's able to minus on Blood Baron, they just straight up can't kill it. So I think it's it's not terrible. This is a weird looking play, but I don't want them to have Expressive Iteration. So you can play. Mutavolt because I have Urborg and I can't Edgar next turn. So even if I draw one in a black spell, I'll still be able to cast it. Happy to address this. Good draw. Is the champion tech not good anymore? Uh, don't want to. Oh, no, you ask all the questions you want. I, I, I don't mind. Um, I think uh, champion's fine. It, it's sort of just been stock, and I think this happens a lot in Pioneer, where like, it's just people net decking and tuning, um, and they don't they don't sort of build things from the ground up. But I think it's possible that champion just was never that good or never worth playing as a four of. It's just, like, it feels so good when you Soren and put Champion into play. But, like, the reality is anyone who, who's probably spammed Vampires knows that there's games where you just draw two or three Champions and you don't have Soren. So, like, you get put in this spot where, like, you have four lands. Eventually, you draw your fifth land, but your life total is low. And now you're just playing these Champions into a board state where you're super far behind. That was an insanely good draw, holy moly. Um... But yeah, they just end up being really clunky and really bad in spots. And like the reason you're playing champion mostly is because Soren. But the reality is Soren is just always going to be good. Like if you have champion in your hand and you have Soren, then Soren becomes an A plus. But like even if you don't have champion in your deck, Soren's still gonna like it's never gonna be below like an A minus. It's just always gonna be a really good card because all of its abilities are just so strong. Okay, what am I doing? Um, Soren, I can Soren sack Mutavolt, kill this. I think that's what I want to do. I'm just like slow rolling this dude, this person. And then next turn I'm going to put Edgar into play. I might have to jump. Mm, this deck was bad. <laughs> I keep making awful attacks. Because if, like, if they have a shock, I at least get to trade Gifted Aetherborn for shock, even if it goes to zero power. Now they might just kill this, and then it's going to be really awkward for me. Once I draw a white source. 
But I think champion's fine. Like maybe maybe I'm wrong, and maybe you're supposed to play it, but this isn't that big of a deal. Make this bigger and play Trespasser, I think. They're going to prevent me from gaining life. That's not that big of a deal. And we'll eat a non-creature. We want to fuck with their delve, but we want to leave creatures for future Trespasser activations. So yeah, this is basically just like Urshad and Port for the rest of the game, I think. They sort of have to just always leave up a red. That's scary. Not too, too concerned. Thank you for the follow, Storm Breath. The block's bad. I think I just let the soaring. Eh. Oh, this is trample. Okay. So if I have a spell, my soaring goes minus one. Is that that big of a deal? So if they have a shock. Goes to one and then it tramples over for one. That's like the biggest blowout. But then I get the life link here. I guess I'm gonna block. I've been I have not played this game very well. This is kind of a blowout potentially, but I think we're pretty comfortable from this position now. Is this mutable? Probably not. It was seven, they got a five. I don't know if it matters that much. I think the other one's maybe a little better. Okay. Yeah, and the only match we lost, I actually should have won. Like, if I played the game perfectly, like, I figured out what I was supposed to do, like, a second late, and then I got incredibly lucky, but... It was after I figured out what I was supposed to do and I lost because of it. Uh, sure. <laughs> I will not block. <laughs> okay. GG's. All right, 4-1. Could have been a 5-0, maybe, but we'll take it. Um, let's check the deck out really quick and see if there's anything I want to change. So I decided to play this with the idea that a lot of people were playing red decks, and I liked Gifted Aether 1 plus Soren versus that type of stuff. Like, even the mid-range stuff, Edgar's really good versus. Um, and it, it basically... Turned out to be true. We played against Winota, we beat it. We played against that Izzet deck, which isn't really a meta deck, but it seems like a really good matchup. And the Izzet deck could have easily just been like mono red, right? Like it's possible that Izzet deck maybe even has a better matchup because it has iteration and stuff. But I think mono red should be pretty good. Um, the Valor stance was fine. Like we just used it to kill Kalidus and. Uh, I don't remember what else. I think we killed a different creature. but Oh, we killed Croxa. Yeah, so it was, it was whatever. I think the main reason to maybe not play it is we just don't have enough white sources. Uh, Never drew Ganjo. 
Shamley events were actually pretty good. Um, the Urborg was good. Hives were good. Castle. <laughs> Castle's actually the reason that I lost the game that I shouldn't have lost and didn't didn't win all my matches, but that's okay. Um, didn't really want the fourth push. Uh, we lost because Grasps weren't a different removal spell. These could have... I, I, it, we lost because I punted, but if Grasp was just something that didn't deal me too, I think I would have won that game. Um, Cletus was kind of medium. I could see maybe just having two. The Liliana's whatever. I think I want to leave the Aganjo. I think with 20, like, with 20 black sources and Urborg, I'm okay with having this as almost like a colorless land that sometimes is going to cast other stuff. Um, it's, it's nice to just have a land that can, that can trigger your Kalidus. Um, also, I guess can kill other Blood Barons if that comes up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this deck's pretty stock, nothing too fancy. Uh, I think Liliana is really good versus Winota. That's where it, where it came up and where it mattered. And I think it's just fine to main deck. Like, it's not a terrible card versus Blue White. It's not a terrible card versus Midrange decks. It's really good versus the Elvish Mystic decks. Um, and it's just, like I said, in, in terms of like versus mid range decks, like if your opponent thought sees you, you and your hand is just Liliana and Edgar, it's really good for you. Um, and I like the main deck Blood Barons. I, I like my sideboard too. I think Path makes some amount of sense. You have to probably most of the time board out Knight and maybe some Aetherborns, but I think it's just a good magic card. Didn't play against Lotus Field, so that didn't come up. Didn't play against Combo, so Necromancer didn't come up. And I mentioned just main decking Trespasser. What could I cut to main deck Trespasser? I think Liliana is the card I would want to get rid of. Maybe Liliana and Kalidus. And I could make the stance like just like a power word guild or something. I sort of want to run it back though. That's probably bad. Let's play. Uh, let's play a Heartless Act. So Heartless Act is bad versus Thing in the Ice. But it kills like Corvold. No, I'm going to play Power Word Kill. The reason I'm going to play Power Word Kill is I think that Niv and Corvold decks are probably really bad matchups. So I'm okay with just having my card be bad in a matchup that's already bad. And do we want... I'm just going to leave in all the Kalidus. Do we want Trespasser or do we want Liliana? What's up, Jake? That's the question. Like, the thing about Trespasser is... I don't... Yeah, it's kind of just more of the same. It's not really, but, like, Edgar is similar to Trespasser in the sense of, like, it's just very good versus removal. Kalidus has pretty high toughness. Blood Baron's good versus removal. I don't have Graveyard Hate. Kalidus is sort of Graveyard Hate, but... Not that worried about Crocs, I don't think. We'll just leave the Liliana. Um, if Winota is like a closest matchup, close-ish matchup, I think this is nice to have. And it's possible, I don't think it's probable, but it's possible that I want like only two fatal pushes and a fourth removal spell. I could see playing a Murderous Rider too, that might be good. That's something that's like reasonable versus Chandra. It doesn't feel good to murder Strider or Chandra after like it kills your Kalidus or your Blood Baron, but it does catch you up on cards. You get the two three out of it. But yeah, I like twenty five. I like my mana base. Everything looks solid. I I think I would happily run this back. Um, Edgar's great. That's about it. I don't really know what exiles this that people are playing. I guess Lava Coil after board. But I, I like the red matchup. I think the red-black mid-range matchup is close. I think the Winota matchup is probably close. You get smashed by Niv. Control might be bad. And then... What are other decks? Anvil I'm not sure about. I think that matchup is probably okay. I have all these main deck Kalidus. And Blood Baron's not great versus colorless stuff. I guess Blood Baron's not good. Maybe the Anvil matchup's bad. I don't know. I could have just like disenchants or whatever but this deck was cool i'll probably i'm gonna try to play all different decks this week so i don't think i'm gonna play this again but i'll